he is assured of our support. It's only in the event, likely or unlikely, of his harming the interests of the people of Delhi that we may have to rethink it. But otherwise, our support was unconditional for him to form the government. But how can it be unconditional for the way in which he runs the government? That we'll see. Now you're playing with words, Veer Sangvi. The Congress is a past master at making the lives of minority governments miserable. Mm. Will Sheila Dikshit and the Congress play along and give Arvind the fair chance? Or do you think from the very first moment they'll be looking for an opportunity to pull the rug? Well, first things first. I saw what Sheila ji said and she's a lovely lady. I'm not quite sure what her locus standa is. She is not president of the Delhi Congress. She's not an MLA. I'm not sure she's in any position to make discussions or make any conclusions or demands about conditional, unconditional. I would ignore what she says. Yeah, I would look towards the future. What you have to remember, Arvind Kejriwal, is that he's running two races. One is a long-term race and one is a 100-meter dash. The long-term race is to make the Aam Admi Party a national party. Many people, the BJP for instance, told people who were going to vote for Arvind that this is a wasted vote. You will never get anything. If Arvind had not formed the government, the next general election people would have said, see, it was a wasted vote. So he has to form the government for the long term. In terms of Chief Minister of Delhi, this is a 100-meter dash. No political party is going to allow this government to succeed. No water board is going to allow this government to succeed. No private electricity provider is going to allow this government to succeed. It is in their interest to drag him down as soon as possible because, as you said, if it can work, if you can reduce electricity prices by half, if you can provide free water to Delhi, why would anybody vote for the BJP? Why would anybody vote for the Congress? Why would anybody allow all these private companies to make money? So Arvind has to do what he can in the three or four months. Prashant Bhushan was in your network a little earlier talking about his time frame and he said six months, maybe a year. So they have, I reckon, realistically, between six months to a year, they've got to make their mark. Will that be easy? No, it won't. Rahul Mehra, are you concerned about the possibility of sabotage from within the system? We've already seen complaints of there being water shortage in the Trans Yamuna area. Uh, we've seen also power outages in South Delhi. Do you believe that there is a possibility that those who are disgruntled, who have been part of the administrative matrix all this while, will now act in a way that it seems to the people of the capital uh, that Arvind Kejriwal and the Aam Aadmi Party cannot deliver? What do you think also of Sheila Dixit saying it's not unconditional? Suddenly, this morning, it became conditional support. Well, Rahul, you may try to prop up anything, but the issue lies here is that somebody we all need to see whether he can deliver on those things which he had promised. Now, it is a matter of time, we will all wait for that and if he can do that wonders, then definitely whether it's BJP or any other political party which is in the state would like to take that because that's the best thing to do for any uh, voters coming or the citizens coming from that state. So I don't see that as a confusion or as a threat, perhaps it is a challenge which they need to prove and for all of us to think if he can do it then why not we also do it so that's a challenge so let's wait for it but again you you know we cannot decide what they are going to do all what we are seeing today is there is a somersault from the arm army or what they had been saying I'm coming to that and we have seen that's part two hours. you try and take and my debate into the direction but that suits you right. best I'm coming to that but I want to go to Mr. Vishwanathan, Vishwanathan at this time is there a problem Mr. Vishwanathan in arm army party having raised the expectation bar so high that whatever they do from here will not seem sufficient we saw when Obama took over in the United States riding a wave of support Everything he did later seemed very pale in comparison. And I think it is, uh, Jairam Ramesh quoted this at the uh, India Today State of States, that you, uh, that you go out and campaign in poetry, but you actually have to govern in prose. So do you think everything they do from here will seem insufficient and inadequate?